All right, guys, this is your day two screencast for credit five, your PowerPoint packet. All right, uh, the first practice here is uh, just says to create a title slide with your name on it and make the background your favorite color. All right, so I'm going to start by formatting the background. I can right click here and go to format background and it brings up this uh, this option here. I'm going to do a solid fill, but you've got other options here. You can do a gradient fill if you want to. You can do a pattern, you could use a picture, um, what have you. I'm going to do solid fill. Um, actually, the blue is pretty nice. Go to the slightly lighter blue. And I'm going to insert a text box so that I can type my name in. I'm going to type my name. Oh, man. There we go. All right. Now it says uh, for the next part of the project here, that's that's the first part. And then after you've learned how to apply themes and uh, do your text formatting, I'm going to open this up. You're supposed to open this up again and make a few more changes. So in this case, they say you're supposed to make it at least 32 font. I'm going to make it even bigger than that. I'm going to go all the way up here to, I'm going to go 80. That's going to look cool like that. And then I'm going to move it over here because I like the uh, way that makes it look. Um, and then it says, uh, change the font color to one you like and can be read against the background. Okay, so don't just leave it as black. Black is nice, uh, but if you're going to leave it as black, just change one of the letters just so that your teacher can see uh, you know how to reformat things. So I'm going to make each one of these red just like that. There we go. All right, now we need to create a new slide. So I showed you how to do that last time. This is how you delete a slide, guys. You right click on it and go to delete. You can also copy slides and do all sorts of things to them. So. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to make a whole bunch of this particular slide, I could copy it and I could just paste it here. Now, it doesn't keep the format, it doesn't keep the background formatting, but it keeps all the other good stuff on it. Uh, you can also just highlight and hit your delete key like that. Okay, so to insert a new slide, I'm going to insert, I'm going to go here. You click on this little arrow, but if I, you click here, it automatically just gives you uh, your last, the last one that you chose. And the last one that I chose was blank, so it gives me a new blank one. But you can also click on this little arrow and it'll give you all the options. So I want to choose one with a title at the top, and I'm going to type my favorite thing. These are a few of my favorite things. And I need to uh, select a background color that I like again. It's always good to, to change the color of your background from something other than white because it helps keep people interested. Uh, and it uh, provides some contrast for things. Think that all that white all the time is a little bit hard on people's eyes. So there, I will go with that green here. And I'm going to change uh, the font type, the style, to a diff one that I like, a different one. Let's go with this one. This one's kind of funky. And uh, then it says create three separate text boxes. So I'm going to go one. And something that you'll find out, guys, if you click away from the text box, it'll look like it disappeared. It's still there, but they can be hard to find. So if you're going to create text boxes, it's usually a good idea to click in them and then type something in them first before you go on to click the next one. Um, so in this one, we're supposed to create three separate text boxes and write one thing that we like in these things. So I'm going to type in here. I'm going to go with motorcycles and my family and food and i misspelled motorcycles but just like in word you right click and boom it'll correct it for you now you notice this font's a little bit small you need to go you need to use at least 24 point font at all times in a powerpoint presentation anything smaller is going to be difficult to read so I'm going to make it even bigger. I'm going to go up to 60-point uh, font because I can on this stuff. I'll go 60-point font with this one, and I'm going to go 60-point font with this one. Now, I'm going to arrange them like so because that looks pretty cool. And it says in each text box, use a different colored font. All right, so I'm going to 
do this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing there, where I'm going to just change the first letter of this here. We'll do motorcycles. We'll do family. Oh, that doesn't. There we go. That'll turn up against the black, uh, the green background. And uh, how about orange? There we go. All right, and my favorite things is looking a little bit small now and next to that other 60 point font. So I'm going to make this 66 point font just so it stands out. And look, it made the 60, this part 66 point, but not this part. So I'm actually going to highlight the whole thing and then go to 60 point. There we go. All right, and that's basically it for this exercise. Um, the point being, uh, you need to know how to change your backgrounds change your font types and add color because what it does is it draws your reader, your viewer's eye back to the things on the page by changing the color because the brain wants novelty and it's going to draw the eye to this now i'm going to show you the contrast here if this was all black it's boring look Look at the difference between that and this. Now, the only thing that's still looking a little bit boring is my favorite thing. So I'm going to jazz that up a little bit. And you guys feel free to do this in yours too. Play around with the font styles because this is how you make a PowerPoint. PowerPoints are fun because they're kind of artistic. It's a presentation. It's sort of like a sort of like an art project in itself. So uh, if that's something that's fun for you, you know, have fun with it. If it's not something that's fun for you, well, just get through it, but make sure that you still apply these basic formatting rules so that your presentation isn't boring for people because there's nothing worse than a boring PowerPoint presentation. Uh, there's a phrase for it called death by PowerPoint, and anyone who's ever sat through a bad PowerPoint knows what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. Now we've got my favorite things. I'm going to hit save because I've already saved this on my flash drive and I'm good to go. All right, guys, that's it for day two. Thanks for watching and good luck with the class.